do subscribe to ekeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering hsc and iit je main and advanced videos hello friends in the last lecture we have did a uh, lecture which was based on that is hydrogen bonding and we have learned it very thoroughly and now we are going to learn that what are the effect of hydrogen bonding in boiling point of a particular liquid so let us learn about it so in the last lecture we have studied that what is hydrogen bonding in which we have learned that hydrogen bonding arises due to electronegativity difference between two atoms in which one is highly electronegative atom while the other one should be hydrogen which is basically electropositive and this kind of interaction between two uh, atoms of different molecules arises to give a kind of new interaction or uh, an extra interaction that is known as hydrogen bonding but this hydrogen bonding can give rise to the effect in boiling point also so what is that let me explain you suppose as we know that hydrogen uh, bonding is present in water molecule but the water molecule has uh, the boiling point more than or it is uh, appreciably large that is it is 100 degrees celsius why it is so it is because of the hydrogen bonding how let me explain you uh, one by one as you know when we are talking about water molecule that means water can be represented in this way but there are various water molecules that would be present uh, in a uh, with each other or they will surrounded by each other so suppose if i would uh, write there are different water molecules that are will surrounded by each other and variously randomly arranged uh the molecules will be random be arranged with each other so as we know uh, that uh, oxygen is basically highly electronegative uh, compared to that of the oxygen so in this molecule of uh, h2o this oxygen will have partially negative charge while that of this hydrogen will have partially positive charge okay about the next one that even this hydrogen will have partially positive charge while this oxygen will have partially negative charge so this will go on so now the moment rises when they form interaction with each other so this molecule that is when i am talking about this h2 molecule this h2 molecule is itself a uh, dipole or itself a uh, compound which is basically polar molecule while that of all the h2o are basically polar molecules so in this case this o minus Uh, that is this oxygen atom which contains a partially negative charge it will try to interact with uh, h plus of another h2 molecule so this will give a rise to hydrogen bonding talking about the next one again this oxygen which is a highly electronegative or which is been uh, partially electronegative they uh, will interact with the hydrogen atoms uh, which will have partially positive charge so in this thing as we could see that there is a presence of basically hydrogen bonding so this hydrogen bonding leads to the molecules to interact with each other to stick with each other which makes us uh, to give a strong statement that these two molecules are strongly bonded with each other with a extra uh, force of attraction that is known as hydrogen bonding so the interaction will be very much forceful with each other so if we want to boil it means we have to uh, give it more temperature and more temperature means more energy therefore more energy will be required to break uh, first of all this kind of uh, bond that is hydrogen bond and hence the boiling point of hydrogen uh, that is the boiling point of water because of the hydrogen bonding is more so this is just for the hydrogen uh, uh, atom uh, that has been formed with uh, oxygen atom the hydrogen bonding so now talking about the another one suppose i am talking about the next one that is hf that is hydrofluoric acid in hf basically this is a molecule of hf while talking about the another one again it will be surrounded by more number of uh, uh, hf molecules so suppose a liquid we have which consist of uh, only pure hf that is hydrogen fluoride so in that we could see that uh, the hydrogen which is having partially positive charge and fluorine which is said to be the most electronegative uh, element of the whole periodic table because of its smallest size and uh, because of the electronegativity that it has to grab electrons so that's why it will be uh, hydrogen will be partially positive charge while that of the fluorine will be a uh, partially negative charge in this case so again hydrogen will be po partially positive charge again fluorine will be negative charge so this will go on and on so now the interaction arises when 
the HF molecule which is present in a liquid state. So it will try to one molecule of HF will try to attract the hydrogen atom of the other molecule with uh, with it so as to form intermolecular force of attraction. Again, this F will also try to bond with the uh, uh, hydrogen bond of other molecule uh, that is HF. So in this case, this uh, kind of dipole-dipole interaction that we could see and in this case we could see that uh, it is because of the hydrogen which is being partially positive charge and fluorine which is being partially negative charge. So because of this interaction which makes these two molecules to form basically a hydrogen bond gives rise to uh, a specific and appreciable boiling point so therefore uh, h2o hf or basically we could say ammonia this all form hydrogen bond with each other or with other molecules so it is not necessary uh, one more thing that i want to say it is not necessary that uh, the hydrogen molecules should be uh, binded with the like molecules like molecules in the sense suppose in this case if i have said that hf has been binding with hf and again this HF has been uh, forming a hydrogen bonding or uh, intermolecular force of attraction with HF only. So it is not necessary. It could bind with this HF could bind a hydrogen bond with uh, H2 also, with aniline also, with ammonia also. So this is possibility. It is not necessary that hydrogen bond is only formed with uh, the same kind of molecules but it can form with different kind of molecules also. But, but the most important thing is they should contain hydrogen which should be high, uh, partially positive and it should bind with the uh, atom of a molecule which is electronegative and this forms the hydrogen bond and because of this reason basically ammonia hf and h2o that is water molecules have boiling point which are highly appreciable or which is exceptionally very high compared to a normal liquids now this was something which was based on uh, the polar molecules basically this all were basically polar molecules or we could say as uh, dipole molecules but talking about the another one that is is something which is basically non-polar so something which is non-polar let me give you a first example that is uh, methane in this case methane structure is this but this is not the geometry let me tell you again this is not the geometry this is the structure of methane suppose if i have drawn in this way so as i can know that uh, methane is something uh, a molecule which is basically non-polar so because since it is non-polar, so the dipole moment of this molecule would be zero, that is mu will be zero. So because this is a non-polar molecule or something which don't have a dipole moment uh, which is equals to zero, so this won't give a rise to a change in electronegativity difference between uh, the two atoms that are being present in this molecule. So since there is no uh, large difference, electronegativity difference within the molecule, so it is quite obvious that it won't be uh, forming a electronegativity difference with other molecules of CH, suppose if this has been formed, suppose if uh, another, uh, that is uh, methane has been uh, kept uh, nearby each other, so they won't form basically hydrogen bond with each other. So this is not uh, the thing that they will form with each other. But yes, there would be the possibility of uh, London force. And this London force is the one that we have to the lecture you could see in our previous videos also. So this is London force or dispersion force of attraction that takes place between the two non-polar molecules. So what happens is there is no extra kind of interaction between these two molecules which makes methane having a boiling point less than that of the water, the ammonia or the HF that we have recently we have did an expression on that. So now that is the reason that hydrogen bond or hydrogen bonding keeps a very uh, great influence in the boiling point of a particular liquid. So for uh, polar molecules the boiling point raises very exceptionally while for non-polar molecules it is being very low compared to that of the other one. So this was the uh, lecture that I have given you for what would be the effect of hydrogen bonding uh, for the liquids uh, and that could uh, affect the boiling point. So thank you friends for watching this video. I hope you have liked this video and you will share this video with your friends and yes don't forget to subscribe to channel. Thank you so much.